Today we're going to be going over how to set file associations if you do not have um, permissions or access to the control panel. I would start by going to start and then computer. What we need to do is find whatever file type you're looking for. In most cases it's going to be a TIFF file when we're setting the file association for the TIFF viewer. Um, TIFF files can be found in many directories on your computer but they are particularly in the P drive and then P part and then files. Now these ones are super embedded so they're going to be pretty far down here but just click multiple times and here after, like I said, after tons of clicks you'll find some of your files. This is our test database and so we don't have many files in there but this will have all of your scanned images once you do that. Um, Right here, here's a TIFF file. What you can do is right click that, go to open with, and if you choose one right now, that will just be for a single time. If you go down to the very bottom, it'll say choose default program, and then you can choose which program you want. Irfan View is the new TIFF viewer that we are recommending. So if you just double click on that, and then you'll see that's what it opens with now um, and that will be what clinical or MD uses to open those file types. Hi, today we're going to be going over how to download and install the new TIFF viewer. Um, some, of you, some of you may be on Alternative or Brava Reader. Those ones are great but they do tend to expire and need to be reinstalled or updated. The new TIFF reader will not need to be updated and so it is a one and done deal. Um, to do this start by going to google.com and then just type in Irfan View. Go ahead and click on download Irfan View. What I always do is choose this top one, get it from CNET. CNET is a trusted download site. Go ahead and click on that. And then click on download now. It'll process through for a little bit and then it should prompt us to run. Let me know it looks like it's going on in the background, so let's go ahead and run that. What I usually do is uncheck all. You don't need these to be on your desktop. So go ahead and uncheck all and then hit next. Next again. Here we want to set the file association to TIFF files. That's what you scan into your clinical or MD programs. After you click TIFF, click next. I uncheck the Google Chrome bars. I don't think those are really necessary. They're just an add-on to the download. And then next again. As I say, do we really want to make the file associations or change the file associations? Click on yes. And then done. I'll go ahead and open it up. At this point, you'll want to go ahead and open up your practice partner or your clinical or MD and open up a patient that you know has a scanned image. I'm on my test, our test database, so we don't have scanned images in. Uh, but go ahead and try and open one of those up. If you have any issues with that, please call support and we'll be more than happy to jump on and help you out. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and found it helpful. If you did, let us know by giving us a thumbs up by clicking on the like button below. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to write those in the comment section below. And if you want to get more helpful videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks!